Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Crate, and we're working on what page are we working on? Seven, page six. We're on page six. So we're going to do some color blocking. We're going to start with this um, 12 by 12 pattern, and this is three and a half inches wide. <clears throat> Okay, and then next we're going to introduce this pattern, and this pattern is from the 8 by 8 collection pack. I'm going to trim this down to fit. There's my creative. I love these. I get them from the dollar store, and you can put, you can kind of sort your bits uh, by size and then lay another tray on top of it and it doesn't take up as, quite as much room on my, quite as much surface area, a little more. It's tough when you're recording, um, when you're building and recording, because everything needs to be, you know, within 12 in inches of your workspace. So you really have to go to kind of a stacking thing. And then I tried to put some shelves over here and it just made me feel claustrophobic. So these work out really well and they don't take up a lot of space visually or um, logistically. They just don't take up a lot of space. So, okay, again, this is from the 8x8 collection pack and it's just trimmed down to fit the remaining span here. And there's gonna be a nice little uh, break between the two patterns. Um, I call that color blocking. Um, you can call it collaging. Uh, they just don't overlap. I think it makes it uh, visually interesting. Um, I'm pulling this pattern in from page two, and this is um, this bird is sort of the key pattern on the ephemera card that I used on page two. So that's why I'm sort of pulling in these two patterns. Did I do that right? No, this was supposed to be reversed, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, it was supposed to be a mirror of page three. Oh, it is. I did it. I did do it right. You're mine. I got it right. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is an eight by six inch panel, eight by six inch panel. And then you're going to need two, four and a half four and a half by six flaps. It's going to get installed on this base panel. And then the whole thing's going to be uh, used as a topper on top of page six. sure that the bottom is aligned. There we go. Looks perfect. Okay, so from the 8x8 collection, it's the reverse pattern that we just used as part of the um, base page mat. We're going to use this red, and it's going to go on these two panels left and right. And we have to wait a second, because I'm going to add a magnet. So, this opens this way, so it's going to open this way. So we're going to have a magnet here. Uh, I'm just going to leave this here for a second, just to remind myself. So this is, I can install this, and then we're going to add... I want the words to carry across. Then we're going to add an ephemera card, put a magnet behind the ephemera card. 
And that's what's going to hold our flaps together. <clears throat> the whole thing slid. <laughs> okay, that's better. Okay, this is the ephemera card that I selected. I think it's going to look lovely right here. So I'm going to do my halfway mark so I know where to stop my glue. And I'm going to put a little tick mark on this side so I know um, how it's going to get installed. Okay, so we need to cover this side with something. And I got to think about the inside first, about what's going on the inside. I'll do that, that. And then the inside, oh, I've got a little bit of an itch. I think I'm going to use this. Let's see how much of it I have left. I have a whole nother sheet, so I'm going to use this. How long is it? Six inches. It is. Okay, six. About eight. Okay, so that's going to go here, and then so I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to figure out what, um, I think I'm going to do a red. I'm going to put a red here on this side. Okay, that should do it. And this just happened to be a little scrap I had. Aside again. Did I do that backwards? I did. Dum dum. This needs to be over there. That's all right. I think I can solve that. Yeah. <clears throat> I know what my problem is. I still gotta get a magnet before I cover it. I'm just eyeballing it. Where's my tape tear tool? It is. That looks pretty good. Let's get a magnet. And then we'll cover that. It's too. Go ahead and cover this. And I'll probably trim this down. It's 
see if it fits better one way. It's um, the magnet's bulging, so it's actually shortening the paper a little bit. Mm, that's not solid. Uh, can't find anything solid, so I'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and finish by adding this red panel. It's already inked. So there we go. And again, this will be a topper on, on top of the eight by 10. So we can center it, we can have it off center. Let's pull in page two and look at it side by side. I should have had the same scale over here, but I had used up all my paper. So this is 12 by 12 and that's eight by eight. Um, if I had not Anyways, it was just not good planning, so it still looks fine, but my preference would have been for those to both be the same scale. And you can see here's the bird that I'm pulling back in. Okay, so we can go up. I think I like center on this one. On my other one, I had it slightly off center, and it just worked better because there was too many um, symmetrical things in the pattern array on page two. But in this one, I think this is going to work fine. So I'm going to go uh, center. Now an option that you could do here is just do three of the four sides and have this be a pocket. I'm not going to do that because I think I'm not going to have enough paper to put something inside there covered anyway. But if you wanted it to be a pocket with some black cardstock that you just mount photos on, that would be a good option. I'm just lining it up with my grid. That helps me get it centered. Okay. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to use this instead since we've got the words on the front already. So this is a pattern in solid. And this is a this will be really easy to put photos on. Okay, what are we going to do on the inside, guys? Not black. I want to do something red. I'm running out of red. I'm trying to hoard it for... Um, for use uh, throughout on other pages in the album. So I'm hemming and hawing a bit here. We have some green, but not a lot. Ooh, I like the gold. I'm also running, <laughs> running out of gold. 
Let me see if I can make these work. Nope, they're too shallow. Let's see if I've got anything here that will at least partially cover it. And let's see if we've got some cut aparts that might work here. I really like this paper a lot, um, but it's really hard. It doesn't work that well with some of the other patterns. So maybe I'll do this. Yeah. I don't know. I think I did this on the other one, so that's too much of a repeat. I'm struggling. Let me look at my stack of eight by eights. It actually goes this way. I can use that to cover that little bit. See what's on the other side? Nope. See how different these grains are? I'm really struggling with that trying to pull those in. And this, I, I don't even know what they were thinking. It doesn't match anything. So I do have a few of these. So maybe I'll use the smaller scale. And that's, that's the other option. Just so monochromatic. I feel like it needs red, but I'm out of red. No, I'm not. Here it is. I got a sheet. I'll make it work. Yeah. Okay. So these are three and three eighths wide. Three and seven eighths wide. I mean. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking is we'll have this and then a strip of this. Okay, so let's do an inch. So. Okay. So we'll break it up. Okay, this needs to be. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. Put my red back over here. And then I've got enough of this. I'll pull this pattern back in. That's it. That's what we're doing. I need to do some housekeeping. Can't see anything.
Oops, I should have put glue on top of that. So it'll slide a little until I get it just right. And now we're going to add this, and we're just going to trim it to fit. everybody's doing well this is so early in the year that it's hard for me to get into the Christmas pattern it's just too hot and too far away it is uh, the first week of August okay repeat that process going to mark and color block These strips are one inch, if I didn't mention it already. Of course, what I'm using is from the pattern in solid, I think. That doesn't sound right. Now I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Let's make sure I'm going the same direction. That's so hard to tell. I think so. There we go, so nice large photo mat space here. And that is page six, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. As always, this is Daphne from Scrapping Creek. I'll be back soon.